Hey, Jeff Dyson here with Director Showcase International. I'm speaking with uh, Andy Morochek from the Blue Coats. Andy, thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it. Absolutely, not a problem. So I understand that you used the Elite Pro rifles last year in your performance. Can you tell me a little bit more about your experience in using them? Well, we first uh, uh, received the Elite Pro rifles um, uh, last summer for the Blue Coats Drum Corps, um, and we, we had only taken probably about 10 of them when we ended up using them in our closer. Uh, they ended up being um, such a huge asset uh, to us in our closer production because basically right off the bat, uh, we set up with the uh, 18-month personal rifle line and had we threw a rifle five exchange that went one yard line across. Um, now, where those rifles became extremely important uh, because of the way that they're designed, they're 100% exactly the same weight. So anybody that knows anything about exchanges, um, that, that becomes extremely important. Um, that way you're not exchanging a heavy rifle to someone that's used to a lighter rifle and that sort of thing. Um, so right away, um, anytime that you know anybody's going to be using that for any sort of exchanges or if you know, you need to set down equipment and someone else is picking it back up, uh, that becomes extremely useful uh, to have, have things weighted the same. That way the members can train on them all at the same weight. Uh, so there's no surprises when they pick those rifles up. And, you know, I've heard it said before from a few different people that um, to the people who spin the rifles, that your rifle is almost as personal as your own toothbrush. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, uh, members all over the Color Guard land uh, tend to give their, their own personal rifles very unique names, too, as well. Um, <laughs> but that's very, very, very true. Um, nobody likes to, to have a rifle that they don't, you know, rehearse with on a daily basis. So with these Elite Pro rifles, it, honestly, it doesn't matter which which rifle out of 40 or however many you're using that uh, an individual or performer will pick up because they're all exactly the same, exact same weight. So they're, they're extremely helpful, and um, they're, they were a huge hit with our, our performers this last summer. So That's really good to know. And, and you had mentioned something in here, um, the lighter versus the heavy rifles. Um, and I've talked to a few folks who said, you know, who, who say, you know, send me a, a wooden rifle that is a little bit on the heavier side or send me a wooden rifle that's a little bit on the lighter side. And I'm sure that you've spun those in the past. And can you give me sort of um, any sort of an idea of your take on the Elite Pro and if that would be considered closer to a lighter wood rifle, a heavy wood rifle, somewhere in between? What's your take? You know, my take on it is, you know, I mean, and honestly, the, the, the heavy to light rifle, is, it's kind of a preference on the performer. Um, you know, outdoors, you don't want to go too light because you're dealing with the elements of wind and that sort of thing. But with the uh, Elite Pros, I would say that they're uh, right on that mid-range um, of between heavy and light. Um, you know, dealing with um, a co-ed, uh, color guard in the summer, you know, I, they, they seem to be the perfect weight. They're not too heavy, and they're not they're not too light. Um, it seems like they they were really honestly the perfect weight, um, which is it's kind of hard to find. Um, and like I had mentioned uh, to you before, that the wooden rifles you just can't get that sort of consistency from rifle to rifle when you're going with the wood. So I was definitely extremely surprised and pleased with with how accurate um, that was rifle to rifle with the Elite Pros. That's really good to hear. Well, hey, Andy, I appreciate uh, your time today. Andy from the Blue Coats, and uh, you guys performing this year at WGI, wish you lots of luck. Thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate it.